I'm back in Korea. It's been a little bit over three weeks since I came back to Seoul. It feels a little bit surreal after living in Cambodia for almost three years. Living in Cambodia was fun and leaving Cambodia to come back to Korea, it was, it was not an easy decision. Uh, but I did it. Um, I left Cambodia on the 8th of July and then came back to South Korea. On the 9th of July, the next morning, I touched down uh, in the Seoul Incheon Airport. And I actually did a little bit of prank on my parents, uh, which is a reason why I was not able to talk about it beforehand because it was a prank. I was going to surprise them and a surprise it went successfully. I came back on the 9th of July, but I told my parents, both of my parents, that I was gonna come back on the 15th of July. And so uh, my sisters and I, we made a reservation at a restaurant. And once my parents came to the restaurant, I basically pretended to be a server, like a waitress. And for probably for over two to three minutes, uh, during the time that I was getting the orders, pretending to be the server in the room that uh, we made a reservation in, they had no idea that was me. It was really fun. And after two to three minutes, they they realized it. My mom, <laughs> my mom realized it was me, and then they, she, <laughs> she like she was really shocked. <laughs> she was really shocked, but she was obviously happy to see me after two years of not seeing me. So. Yeah, all in all, I really think I made a great decision on that prank. I'm very proud of myself. I just wanted to <laughs> just give you a bit of update um, about my plans uh, in my future. I got an acceptance from the German graduate school that I apply for. So I'm officially going to Germany. Even right now that I'm saying it, it doesn't feel real. It just does not. I feel like I'm still not having any clues, like any clues of just what my life is gonna be like in uh, for the rest of 2022, really. But um, the truth is, I applied for uh, a master's program in Frankfurt, uh, specifically in Guate University uh, in Frankfurt, and I got uh, I got the official letter of admission. Um, a few days ago and I am planning everything in order to go to Germany, arrive there and start my master's program. So that's the most important update uh, that ever happened to me for the past three weeks since I came back to South Korea. I am currently planning everything regarding my bank account in Germany. I'm uh, I'm trying to get myself a student health insurance as well. And uh, what am I doing as well? Mm, I'm just trying to get all, like, it, pretty much every documentation that I need in order to get a visa, which is pretty interesting as well, because in order to get a student visa or just any kind of visa, uh, that you need in Germany, you have to uh, make an appointment with the, uh, with the embassy first. But I'm pretty sure it's it's like the same in every embassy. But yeah, uh, they call it Deomin, I think. Uh, I don't I don't remember how to spell it. But you basically have to make a reservation, like an appointment called Deomin with the German embassy uh, in South Korea. And last night, I was trying to make an appointment with the German embassy, and every single availability for an appointment with the embassy is fully booked until the late October. And I have to be in Germany at least in the mid-September. So there is no <laughs> possibility of me getting a student visa in South Korea. So last night my whole plan changed because like up until the time I was in a rush. I I was I was gonna get my uh, bank account, health insurance, or just every single documentation that I need in a couple days, so I can apply for the visa. But it turns out that I can't even apply for a visa here because in order to get a visa, you need to make an appointment with the German embassy, and I can't even do it right now because every single availability for for appointment for whatever visa, whatever visa those are, they're all booked and I can't apply for, I can't even meet anyone from the German embassy in Korea until late October. So my whole plan changed. 
um, I'm not saying that I'm I'm frustrated or anything. I'm still very happy that I'm going to Germany. Uh, but one plan just changed that I actually have to go to Germany first and apply for my student visa there. Um, so I I will probably um, ask for some help from the from the school that I I got in um, because I don't speak any German. Um, I do have a few German friends though, so I know they can uh, they can give me some help and you know I really need their support in that situation because I really don't speak German. I really you should start learning German by the way but I still am learning Spanish and I can't really give up on that one as well so I will probably or most definitely start learning German soon but I don't know <laughs> I really keep myself really busy these days I meet a lot of people my friends and you know I, I, I recently went on a uh, family trip with my friend uh, with my family and yeah like i'm meeting a lot of people i'm working as well i teach korean classes at least five six of them and uh, yeah i sometimes go out work out I, I practice dancing as well so my life right now uh yeah my life right now back in south korea has been really hectic and not it's it's been just a little over three weeks and i feel like i just you know didn't really give myself any permission to really rest myself so to speak so i don't know um it's 2nd of august today so i will probably try my best to actually take a rest or even just you know just chill really at home and not really having to work or anything but the thing is i really like teaching korean so that's also one of the reasons why i can't really give up you know uh, give that up I because I really like it I really like talking to people who are interested in learning Korean Korean culture um, and talking about Korean stuff with me I really like it so I don't think I will stop teaching Korean even when I'm in Germany and I still haven't booked my flight so I don't know the specific day that I will be going to Germany but I um, I'm thinking of the mid September, so it'll be like uh, a little bit after the 15th of September. I'm thinking either 20th or 20, uh, 21st of September, uh, but I will see. And I checked the flight, and it's a lot more expensive than I expected. Because I remember, even before I applied for the school that I got in right now, I checked the flight from Seoul, South Korea to Frankfurt, Germany. It was less than $700. And that was like six to seven months ago. And now it's over <laughs> it's a lot more expensive than that it's at least 400 bucks more expensive than that which is not what i expected but all in all i just have to do it i just have to do it i'm happy that i got the acceptance i'm going to germany i'm finally finally going to start my master's program that i've been like <laughs> wanting to do for the past two to three years I'm finally gonna go back to study, I'm gonna do my master's, I'm gonna get my master's degree and hopefully I can start something else uh, down the line in the future. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'm here back in Korea having a great time with my friends and family. Eating Korean food every single meal is also awesome. <laughs> I just love it so much. In Cambodia, oh my gosh, I would probably have Korean food like max once a month or twice a month even like once or twice a month that would be like it but here i'm back in korea and my mom is a great cook so is my dad so i get to eat all this korean food every single meal from breakfast lunch to dinner like <laughs> it feels like heaven to be honest with you i really am having the greatest time of my life right now i might have told my friend i i honestly miss cambodia though I really miss Cambodia and the other day I was thinking about Cambodia and all the things that happened to me in Cambodia, my life there, my friends and all the adventures that I had to go through. I, I was thinking about it and really it really made me it really made me grateful, you know. Uh, I still keep in touch with all my friends, um, not all, all of them for sure, but like a lot of my friends that I made in Cambodia. Even now, I still talk to them, message them, they, so, they sometimes call me, I, I, I call them as well. So yeah, I, I can't really have, I don't really have words to describe how grateful I am to have those people, have those memories in my life. And right now, I'm, I'm kind of taking a break even though I'm still working. 
uh, right now it's more of a time for me to actually reevaluate what I had in Cambodia and what I'm having after all those experiences and what I will have in the future and in order to in order for me to grow up even uh, even more and, and better way as a person and if I want to be uh, in order to be a better human being a better adult uh, a better uh, more responsible person those are pretty much what I'm doing right now back home working meeting friends but at the same time I think about all those things that happened to me for the past two, two to three years because those experiences have made me I I would be not myself without those experiences and people that I have met in Cambodia so yeah um, if you are ever watching this video I really miss you guys I really miss Cambodia and I miss you uh, you should know that by the way, I would like to make a video about all the process that I've done in in order to give any tips or advice for uh, whomever that would be. If you are ever interested in uh, going to Germany or applying for a school in Germany, um, I'll be making a video about that as well later. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like a high quality kind of thing or not, but I will try my best. But yeah, so far, that is it. And... Yeah, right now, what time is it? Uh, it's 4, 10, 10 past 4, and I will have another class in 15 minutes. So I'm, got, I'm just gonna eat a little bit of whatever I have in the fridge, and yeah, I'll work again. But yeah, I will come back to my channel and bring probably another story that I would like to share with you. Uh, it will probably about my future plans regarding uh, my life that I will have in Germany. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you're having an amazing day. Have a great day and take care of yourself. Take care of people that around you and be good, be well. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Annyeong.